why are so many Chinese nationals trying to cross the border into the United States from Mexico? Stay tuned, I'll tell you. Yes, sir. I'm not freaking blind, guys. It's Squalo style. I think it's Thursday. You could die? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Geez, you know. Oh, yeah, because it goes on and on and on. For all you haters, there's something to chew on for the next couple. Welcome back to the Guilao 60 channel. The question of the day is, why are there so many Chinese people trying to cross from the Mexican side to the American side of the southern border of the United States illegally? Well, you know, I get a lot of comments. Wow, and you see it on the news, you see it in social media, but I get it on my comments. If, if China's so good and the United States is so bad, why are there so many thousands of Chinese trying to cross the border from Mexico into the United States illegally? Why? Why, why, would, why, would, this, why would this be? And uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, make America look good and China look bad by comments like this. But it deserves an answer and uh, I'm here today to give you that answer and it's simple propaganda for the last 80 years the United States has been tooting their own horn and telling everybody around the world what a great place the United States is it's the land of the free and the home of the brave my god you can do anything you can be anybody you can you can you can come from the poorest family in Guatemala and uh, come to the United States and be anything except for the President of the United States because you got to be born there to be President of the United States. Well, in China, people work for a living. They go to school, they go through all of the stuff that you do in the Western world and uh, they can be anybody they want. A friend of mine, Robert, he's, a, he's an oncologist up in Chongqing. He's a... Uh, he's, he's, uh, He's a good guy. He grew up in a really poor family and they had a school in, in, in his village and uh, they looked at the school as the only way out. And uh, he worked hard, he got scholarships and whatever and he became a top doctor, oncologist at, uh, at a, a hospital in Chongqing, a city of over 30 million people. So you can be whatever you want here in China too. Uh, it's just that they don't yanked their own chain and over the last 80 years not only have they uh, brainwashed people from around the world Chinese included to thinking that they are better than they are but uh, they, they brainwashed the American people and if you can brainwash your own people into thinking that they're living better in their world than anywhere else in the on the entire earth in any other country they are the best country in the world and they're living in poverty. They're living in areas where uh, violence, Chicago, 3,000 shootings a year, uh, uh, homeless people along the, the western seaboard, uh, drug addicts, and just violence, despair, homelessness, homelessness uh, just tragedy, and also uh, the, the highest incarceration rate in the world. You know what I mean? If they can get their own people to believe that, well, it's not a far stretch to uh, brainwash or get uh, some Chinese people to believe it. I'm sure that the people that are ending up on the on the border aren't the most highly educated Chinese people. Uh, maybe they don't have the opportunities that the highly educated Chinese people have. And they're probably easier to... Uh, Easier, easier to pull the wool over their eyes than, than the highly educated Chinese. So it's not, a, it's not a stretch that if they can brainwash their own people, they can brainwash other people. So you get, you get all of these Chinese people moving to the, the United States illegally across the, the Mexican border. And uh, they look around and say, well, there must be some misadvertisement here because this isn't what I heard on mainstream media. In the newspapers, on social media put out by the American government or American government uh, platforms. Yes, Google, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, CNN, NBC, Fox News, they're all government propaganda channels in the United States. So when, when the Chinese are watching this, and the Chinese can watch news from America, it's not, uh, 
censored like people like uh, these people on uh, the the channel that make these type of comments state it's uh, it's basically open to everybody anyway so they, they go there and they see the homeless camps miles of them Laguna Beach California Seattle Tacoma friggin San Francisco turned into a cesspool you get uh, the the just the violence the 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 shootings the the crime the the homelessness the despair the dirty the subways with shit in them and stuff like that they say well you know this isn't this is uh, some somebody has uh, sold me a lemon instead of a uh, 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 a BYD electric EV car so they uh, soon figure out what's going on and they turn around and they come home and uh, that's basic that's basically what's happening right now because the propaganda machine that the United States spins is the best propaganda machine in the world and they are really good at it so uh, if they as I say if they can brainwash their own people that are living in the scum and squalor to think that this is better than anywhere else in the world then they can they can brainwash some Chinese to think the same way the problem is that the Chinese have something to compare it with because they've lived in China and they know what's right and what's wrong where the Americans don't so that's why the Chinese say oh geez I made a mistake misinformation I'm getting the hell out of here and they 86 their asses back to China okay and I know there's gonna be people saying what about the ultra rich and famous Chinese that uh, take their money and they move to the United States New York LA San Francisco Houston Texas buy big mansion houses and and uh, and live there happily ever after well, propaganda has a lot to do with it too, because a lot of these rich Chinese uh, believe the propaganda that's been uh, that's been spewed out of the mainstream media for the last 80 years. But with the rich and famous, it's something a little bit different. Uh, with the rich and famous, and I say famous because some of them are famous. Um, it's it's more discrimination. They've been discriminated against for the last 200 years two centuries exclusion acts head taxes you're not allowed to come here even if you're allowed to come here uh, your your wife isn't allowed to come here because we want you to go home after the railroad is built you know you know what I mean you're, you're allowed to make uh, a jewelry for us you're allowed to work in a mine you're allowed to build roads railways help build bridges and stuff like that the, the dangerous work but you're not allowed to be a doctor lawyer anything like that uh, any professional uh, no way no because you're Chinese so they, they've, they've got this discrimination in their mind mind that uh, they can't travel to make it easier they can't travel on a Chinese passport to many places in the world without having to apply for a visa because of discrimination and that's the way it's been and that's the way it still is today except for some southeastern countries where you know Vietnam and Thailand and Malaysia and, uh, you know places like that Cambodia where they're visa free now uh, and, and I have to get a visa because these countries dropped the discrimination that had been around for, for, for centuries against the Chinese. So they're, they're going for that passport so they can travel freely around the world, hassle free, because they got money, they can do it. So, and the discrimination part of it has something to do with the poor people moving over to the United States too because it's always been that land of opportunity it's something that they haven't been able to acquire they they've been told no you're not allowed so there must be something over there that oh I can't hear that what's over there well let's go take a look and the propaganda and the discrimination and uh, they want to see not not all of them want to see a very very small portion of Chinese they've got 1.4 billion Chinese living in China and there's maybe I don't even know the numbers uh, you know they say thousands so let's say I uh, 10,000 uh, Chinese crossing the border into the United States that's such a minuscule amount of the population of China that it's that it doesn't even register so uh, when you when you hear these people spouting well if China was such a good place to live and the United States was such a terrible place to live why are all these Chinese people trying to cross the border 
into the United States? Why are the rich and famous buying houses in Los Angeles, New York City, and San Francisco? Why, why, why? Well, it comes down to two simple little explanation words. Discrimination and propaganda. And the United States is number one in both of these discrimination and propaganda against the Chinese people, against China, the Chinese people, and the Chinese government. And that's just the way it is. When people tell you that uh, China must be bad and the United States must be good because, because these people are trying to get across the border from Mexico into the United States, tell them it's not true. It's propaganda. It's discrimination. And uh, the Americans are good at both propaganda and discrimination. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Hit the bell. And uh, until next time, don't listen to the propaganda. Don't discriminate against other, other races, other people, other countries. And uh, then it might be easier to peace out. Bye now.